Tom Mueller. I'm Vice President of Propulsion here at SpaceX. I'm a co-founder of the company, and I'm going to give a little tour here of our Texas test site. They've been testing the rocket engines here since the 40s. We've started here in winter of 2003. Well, this is called the Block House. It's uh, an underground bunker. This is where we control engine um, testing, like the Merlin uh, booster engine. Setting up the day to do a nine engine mission duty cycle of the Falcon 9 first stage. You can basically watch the whole test from, from the station. This is the horizontal test stand. So this is the very first place we ever fired a rocket engine on was this right here. This was a very early days, first test, so a lot of excitement here. This is a, a vertical test stand in that the engines fire straight down. So this is a 95,000 pound thrust engine. Basically this engine will burn a hole right through concrete. We have a big water-cooled flame duct that takes that, that exhaust and flex it out into the field. This is the new Merlin test stand we're going to test is the vacuum version of the Merlin engine for the second stage of uh, Falcon 9. This thruster that we're developing here is going to be used on the Dragon uh, spacecraft. So this little engine is it's 90 pounds of thrust. It only operates in the vacuum of space. So in order to test it here, we have to run it in, in a vacuum cell. So you can see the stainless steel cell here that closes up. Um, and we actually operate this thing up to about the melting point of steel, about 2,500 degrees out. So this thing basically runs white hot when we're, when we're running this thruster. So that test cell where the Draco thruster is mounted uh, is right in there where that black pipe comes through. And it goes into this white, looks like a white tank. Well, inside this tank are heat exchangers because the exhaust, of course, coming out of that thruster is about 3,000 degrees out. We've got the Dragon capsule, which has just started into a uh, structural qualification. This is the first um, fully flight Dragon capsule that we built. We're going to go up and take a look at the uh, Falcon 9 first stage up here that we're getting ready to do the sort of a historical test. Be the first full duration uh, burn of all nine engines. So there's going to be um, nine engines running at 95,000 pounds each. That's a total of 860,000 pounds for about 170 seconds. So it's going to be quite a test. So I believe we're about 130 feet up here. We're just at the bottom of the stage. When fully loaded, this tank holds 535,000 pounds of propellant. Basically, those nine engines will consume that 535,000 pounds of propellant and burn it in 170 seconds. It will be the most impulse, or the most thrust times time, ever burned by a private company. Uh, about 140 million pound seconds of impulse. That's a lot of impulse. The crew guys we got working here are just unbelievable. They were here last night, most of these guys, till I think 2 o'clock, putting those panels on. The wind was howling, it was very, very cold. They weren't complaining. And you hear them out here today, they're rambunctious, they're loud, they're proud. These guys are Texas tough. They really get it done. Okay, so here we are, well over 200 feet up. If you're afraid of heights, they don't come up here. So this is only the first stage of Falcon 9. Imagine on top of this, there's a big interstage and another second stage, but it goes up another 50 or so feet to the top of the fairing from here. So it's a big rocket. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.